Ever pondered why FedEx uses missile defense systems on its airplanes? It's a question that might seem straight out of a science fiction novel, but in our world, it's reality. FedEx, a giant in the logistics industry, has taken an extraordinary step to protect its fleet. But why? What prompted such a decision? What are the implications? These are the intriguing queries that will guide our exploration today. So, fasten your seatbelts, folks. Prepare for a fascinating journey into the world of FedEx's missile defense systems. Our journey begins during the Cold War, the birth era of missile defense systems. The second half of the 20th century, a time when the world's superpowers were engaged in a tense standoff. The threat of nuclear warfare loomed large, and it became imperative for nations to protect themselves against the potential onslaught of enemy missiles. The United States and the Soviet Union, both at the forefront of this technological race, invested significant resources to develop robust defense systems. These systems were designed to detect, track and intercept incoming missiles, thereby preventing catastrophic damage. The first-generation missile defense systems, while rudimentary by today's standards, were marvels of their time. They were primarily ground-based radars and interceptors, designed to counter ballistic missiles. These systems, despite their limitations, marked the beginning of a new era in military technology. As technology advanced, so did the sophistication of missile defense systems. The advent of space-based sensors and the development of high-speed interceptors significantly improved the effectiveness of these systems. The goal was always clear, to create an impenetrable shield that could protect against any missile attack. The end of the Cold War did not mean the end of missile defense systems. In fact, the need for these systems became more pronounced with the proliferation of missile technology around the world. Countries began to realize that these systems were not just for military use, but could also provide a layer of protection for commercial and civilian applications. The technology that once stood as a symbol of conflict and tension evolved into a symbol of protection and security. This transition from military to commercial use was not immediate, but it was inevitable. As the world became more interconnected and as the skies became busier, the need to protect commercial aircraft from potential threats became a priority. From a military innovation, the missile defense system has found its way into commercial aviation, a testament to how technology born out of necessity and shaped by conflict can adapt and find new applications in a changing world. Fast forward to the 21st century, FedEx enters the picture. FedEx, a name synonymous with delivery services, decided to shake things up in the aviation industry. They took a step that, at first glance, might seem like a plot twist from a science fiction movie. They decided to implement missile defense systems on their planes. Now, you might wonder why a delivery company would need such a high-tech defense mechanism. The answer lies in understanding the threats faced by aviation in today's world. As the world became more interconnected, the need for faster and more reliable delivery systems grew. FedEx, being a major player in this global network, operates in various regions, some of which are prone to conflict and unrest. The company's planes often fly over these areas, making them potential targets. The missile defense systems serve as a protective shield, ensuring the safety of the crew and the cargo. It wasn't just about the physical threats. FedEx's decision also came from a place of commitment to safety, a cornerstone of their operations. The company wanted to ensure that they could deliver packages reliably and safely, regardless of the circumstances. This move was not just about deterring potential threats, but also about maintaining public trust and upholding their reputation. But the decision was not without its challenges. Implementing missile defense systems on commercial planes was a mammoth task. It required technological advancements, significant investment, and a shift in mindset. Yet, FedEx was willing to bear these costs in the name of safety. The move was met with a mix of surprise and admiration. It was a bold step, one that showed FedEx's commitment to innovation and risk management. It was a testament to their mantra, when it absolutely, positively, has to be there overnight. FedEx's decision was a game-changer in the aviation industry, it sparked a conversation about safety and risk management in aviation, leading other companies to consider similar measures. It was a move that shifted the paradigms and set a new benchmark in the industry. It was in every sense a brave new world. Now you might be asking, how does a missile defense system work on a FedEx airplane? This question is certainly not one to be taken lightly, especially when considering the vital role these systems play in ensuring the safety of these aircraft. The missile defense system on a FedEx plane is a marvel of modern technology. 
It's a combination of advanced detection capabilities and countermeasures that work together to neutralize potential airborne threats. The heart of this system is the missile warning sensors which are designed to detect the infrared signatures of incoming missiles. This means that the system can identify a missile's heat trail even in the vast expanse of the sky. Once a threat is detected, the system kicks into gear. The countermeasures employed by these systems are as ingenious as they are effective. One such measure is the use of flares, which are ejected from the aircraft to divert the missile's attention away from the plane. These flares burn hotter than the jet engines, attracting the missile and leading it on a harmless path away from the aircraft. But the system doesn't stop there. It also incorporates advanced laser technology. If a missile continues to pose a threat, a high-energy laser can be directed at the incoming missile, effectively blinding its guidance system and causing it to veer off course. This technology is highly sophisticated, requiring precision and accuracy to be effective. What's remarkable about these systems is their ability to operate autonomously. Once engaged, the system requires little to no human intervention. It continuously scans the environment, ready to react at a moment's notice. The system's primary goal is to ensure the plane reaches its destination safely, no matter what threats it may face. And while this might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, it's all very much a reality. These systems are a testament to the leaps and bounds we've made in technology, and the lengths we're willing to go to ensure safety in our skies. It's a complex process, but it's all in a day's work for these systems. The question remains, has FedEx's decision made a difference? As we delve into the aftermath of FedEx's groundbreaking initiative, we'll see that the answer is a resounding yes. The impact has been significant, not just within the company, but across the aviation industry. FedEx's adoption of missile defense systems sent ripples through the aviation world. It ignited a broader conversation about safety in the skies and the lengths to which companies should go to protect their aircraft, crew, and precious cargo. Other freight companies started rethinking their own safety measures, and some followed FedEx's lead, integrating similar defense systems into their fleets. FedEx's initiative also stimulated advancements in missile defense technology. As more companies showed interest, the demand for more efficient and effective systems grew. This led to increased research and development, resulting in systems that are more advanced and less intrusive than their predecessors. Today, missile defense systems are more commonly used in the aviation industry, especially in regions with higher security risks. They have become an integral part of the safety measures for many freight and passenger airlines. While not every aircraft you see in the sky is equipped with such a system, the number is steadily growing, thanks to FedEx's trailblazing decision. But it's not just about the technology itself. FedEx's choice reflects a larger commitment to innovation and safety. It's about a company that was willing to take unprecedented steps to protect its operations. FedEx's decision was a statement, a testament to its dedication to go above and beyond to ensure the safety of its flights. The impact of FedEx's decision reached far beyond its own operations. It served as a catalyst for change, for progress, and for a safer aviation industry. The current use of missile defense systems and their continuous development is a testament to this. Indeed, FedEx's missile defense systems are a testament to the company's commitment to safety and innovation. So, we've answered the question, but what does this mean for you? In a world where technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace, the implications of these developments are far-reaching. We're not just talking about package delivery but about how we perceive security and safety in the skies. The use of missile defense systems on FedEx planes isn't just about protecting cargo, it's about safeguarding the infrastructure of global commerce, about preserving the integrity of supply chains that millions of people rely on. But let's take a step back and ponder over this. Are we heading towards a future where such defenses become a standard for all commercial airlines? Will the skies be filled with planes armed with missile defense systems? And if so, what does that say about the world we're living in? Now think about the ethical implications. Is it right to militarize commercial aviation in the name of security? Or are we opening up a Pandora's box that could lead to unforeseen consequences? These are not easy questions and there are no clear-cut answers. But it's important to engage with these topics, to think critically about the world we're shaping with our technological advancements. We hope this journey has enlightened you, and we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below.